Welcome guys, this is Data Slash Fun YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to build interactive dashboard by using two lines of Python code. So very easily, within two lines of code, we can make interactive dashboard. For that, please guys subscribe this YouTube channel for getting latest update in data science and share with your friends so they can easily get the idea about the analytical tricks. So let's see how to make interactive dashboard within two lines of code. For plotting dashboard, I am going to use Google Colab platform, which is very interactive and easy to code platform. In, the pla in this platform, we can upload our data set from local machines. So this is my data set, hr underscore data dot csv. I already uploaded it by this option, upload to session storage. And in that dashboard, we can plot, scatter plot, pie chart, bar plot, violent plot, box plot, distribution plot, histogram, and correlation plot. All these set of plots, we can plot within two lines of code. So let's see how to, to do that. First, you need to install one updated package, PyWares. It's a very new package in Python. By this command, expect to sign pipe install PyWares package. This installation process is one time. After that, we just recall this package by using that functions on that package. After installation, I already installed this package. That's what I'm not going to install again. I just recall this package by import function, import pivot as a PW. As PW means we just allies, we give one name to this pivot package. And next is import pandas as a PD. For panda library, it's useful for reading data frame. Here I just use pd.read underscore csv for reading this data set, csv data set. If you want to copy this part or find this part, just go to here and copy this part and paste it here in double quote. Just look the data view by head command. Data is employee data, HR related data. In that, first column is satisfaction level, then last evolution, number of project, average monthly hours, time spent with company, work accident, left means zero, means there is employees working, one means the employees left. Promotion in last five years, then sales, then salary. There are mainly three types of salary, low, medium, high. And in sales column, there are different departments, which employees are belong sales department hr department it department r and d department so in sales column there are departments information of that employee so in pivots the function is pivots underscore charts give the data frame reference c means if you want to remove any particular column like id's column then you just mention the name of that column here in this code i just want to I just want to know any column relation. That's what I just write here, none. Y is equal to salaries means our target variable. You can define your target variable by your business challenges or business problem. And this all object is stored in EMC. You can give any object. And this EMC object have the method make underscore charts. So by this command, you can make different chart as I mentioned above. This all set up charts so you can see here the new window is open here pivots make charts and here is option scatter plot pipe pie chart bar plot violent plot then box plot distribution plot histogram correlation plot so you can plot any of the graph very easily here is scatter plot here default column names Satisfaction level, last evolution, and satisfaction level. Color by satisfaction level. Just click on make a chart, and chart is ready. If you want to make a change, then just click on drop down and select another variable and press make chart. So you can see here the yellow one is left employees, and the Blue one is working employee. Then, if you want to plot up average monthly hours and color is like left, then you can easily do that plot. 
very easily you can plot this type of plots scatter plots number of projects and like on axis time speed to company So because of number of projects are discrete values, so the graph is showing me that one. Next is pie chart. Here is default column are selected, sales and certification level. Just click on make a chart, and you can see the how many employees are belongs to which department. 26% employees are belongs to sales department. 21% employees are belongs to technical department then support department 55 percent uh, sorry 18 percent a six percent production department it department so very interactive chart you can see here then i just want to plot of salaries and here for salaries pie chart is plotted here so low having low salary 59 employee 59 percent employees having low salary high salary 22 sorry 7 percent employees having low salary and medium salary 42 percent then bar plot just go with default selected columns so this is a bar chart for different departments if you want to make for salaries just make for select the salary scholar and it will be change accordingly. The next it while and plot here I going to select salaries and on y axis I just on x axis I just want to select left so it will be make sense for while and chart can see here left 0 and 1 and accordingly salary satisfaction level so the left employees having satisfaction level is less so that's what they are going to like and 0 means they are working and having satisfaction level is high as compared to left employees then box plot here also I just select salary The box dot will be here for medium low high and it is interactive as well so here is options also so you can choose any option and see the parameters like median q3 q1 satisfaction level high and low then distribution plot is same like uh, histogram so this is a histogram for the satisfaction level and if you want to change your salary so it will be changed according in plot so low medium high then next is a histogram it will be only for one variable and which is a continuous variable this is a histogram if you want to plot for time spent with the company then it will be look like this so so many employees are left after the three years of experiment experience in this organization then correlation plot which is very nice we can make in a here and we can decide the color scale also there are so many color scale here i just go with the gray and make a chart for correlation plot so you can see here the correlation plot are here if you want to check the color scale like uh, greens red blue okay so this is a red blue color scale and you can analyze the correlation with each and every column so hope you are finding this useful for your data analysis and if you like this video then press the like button share with your friends and subscribe this youtube channel for getting latest video updates Thank you so much for watching.